Charlena Moda gets up at 5 a.m. to start her daily training session. She's the highest ranked Zimbabwean karateka, and she's working hard to make sure that won't change anytime soon. Martial arts is my life. It's something which every day I wake up in the morning, that's the first thing in my mind. I have to start, I start training. So to me, without martial arts, there's no Charlene. Charlene lives in Mufakose, close to the Zimbabwean capital Harare. The 27-year-old is not only a fighter, she's married and has two young kids. Her husband Michael supports her with the little money he earns. A few grades now, she's coming out with something I think she's achieving, and I keep on supporting her. The times is difficult. Was you, you know, our life here in seem it's difficult in these days. Michael buys and sells used cars. Charlene takes care of the household and kids. I have to do all this by myself. Because if it was like the guys I train with, they got wives. They can train from morning up to evening because they know there's someone to cook for them, to clean for them, to wash for them. But me, I have to train and I have to do all those things too. Three times a week, Charlene trains a group of students in a nearby school. For her, it's important to change the perception that karate and martial arts are for men only. It was quite challenging to be teached by a female, but as we saw the skills, we learned that uh, karate is not all about gender. It also gave power to encourage other girls that they can do anything which other guys can do. Charlene is on her way to South Africa. She was selected by the Zimbabwean team to take part in a tournament. Finding money for transport and training is one of Charlene's biggest constraints, and she has to travel the whole night to get there. But the next morning, Charlene is bursting with confidence. We have more passion. We love this sport, right? Yeah, yeah. And we are very prepared about the tournament. Well equipped, <coughs> no doubt. <laughs> the team is headed by Zimbabwean karate legend Samson Moripo, the first African to win the Karate World Championship. He's one of Charlene's biggest inspirations. This is the first time Charlene has officially competed outside Zimbabwe. She beats her opponent within seconds, much to the joy of her fellow team members. I'm now aiming more higher. I'd really love to go for world champions and travel more, keep on fighting every tournament, every chance I get. It's only resources that can restrict us from doing great globally. Otherwise, it's a great milestone to her and the youngster, young women in Zimbabwe.